Mercedes-Benz Stadium, site of this year's Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, and of course part of the college football playoff. We are through the opening round of this year's playoff, and now the pressure is mounting in the quarterfinals. A matchup between one side that's had time to rest and recover, and another team... line getting set up it's a first down play they'll run it to the left goes backwards losing three yards there that back just had nowhere to go gotta give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play the loss sets up a second and long from the 20 back to pass it's Salter quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off Goes to his right side there for the completion. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll run it out of the shotgun. Second down after that run on the previous play. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football. And brings up a third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Running back has it on a screen now. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up fourth down. The Flames will bring their punt team on the field now. And the coverage team gets the returner to the ground. The Bulldogs offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. Well, it's not easy to narrow down the impact players. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark. Inches away. Offense getting set. It's second down. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, their eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do that. He's hit right as he throws it. Incomplete. Boy, the defense rolls the dice here on this screen pass. If they don't hit this quarterback, this is a big play. But give them credit. They were able to get to him before they were able to complete that pass. To throw. It's Salter. Bringing pressure. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And they'll bring him down. The defense fought through the blocks, and they stop him short of the first down. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. Right down the middle. So we have our first points on the board. That makes it 3-0. Back at it to start the quarter. Offense getting set to run a first down play. The offense with some pre-snap motion. He hands it off from the gun. The game moves the ball to a 34. Here's the second down play. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Quick throw complete to the tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. Short completion. The third down play coming up. Try to make it with a quarterback sneak. Good call here by the offensive coordinator to go with quarterback sneak here on third and inches, and he's going to get the first down. It's a great time to catch the defense off guard. Get up to the line of scrimmage quickly, get the lineman down, quarterback run to the center, quick snap, and get the yardage you need for the first down. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Second down after that run on the previous play. 
quarterback looking to connect with a receiver here. And a sophomore making an impact play. The offensive line is so caught up in communicating to pick up the defensive lineman. Nobody picks up the middle linebacker on the blitz. He gets the sack. Quick throw to the left. And he's got it. He stopped short of the mark, so it's fourth down now. And the Flames will line up to punt it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And here's the fair catch by the return. Here comes the Liberty offense back out on the field. Well, it's been an entertaining first half. Not much time remaining to cut into this lead. Gets the ball off as he's hit, but it's incomplete. Kind of a fine line here, Chris, for me when it comes to throwing a screen pass. You don't want to throw it too early. Obviously, the defense reacts quickly and can sniff it out. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late and potentially get sacked. You've got to make sure it hits just right for this play to work. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Back to throw. It's Salter. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Looks like he's going to run it. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. Now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. Check this out. Offense going for it. Inside their own 40. Fourth down looking to throw for it. He's got it. Enough for a first down. They've got him, but he easily makes the first down, and this drive keeps going. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw. Receiver gets hit, but he's beyond the sticks for the first down. First down, they're going to throw the ball. Locates the tight end. It's complete. Important second down play coming up. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Short pass, finds the tight end. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Chris, how about this? I mean, this, there's nobody open initially. He rolls out to be able to get out of the pocket, away from the pressure, and eventually find it. And he'll loft it to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. But Chris, the offense takes a shot downfield, and this defender does a great job of making a play on the ball. Not only that, he tips that ball up into the air. Good chance for the defense to come up with an interception there. Caught on the outside, it's Henderson. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four-down territory. But let's see what the third down call is. Catch hauled in here over the middle. The defense wraps him up quickly. Got about five yards of the completion, but now it's fourth down. And now the defense will call a timeout before this critical down, just to get everybody on the same page. And the field goal is... First down here for this offense. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. It's intercepted. Tried to fire it into a tight window. Going the other way. Can they stop him? Steps out after a crucial takeaway. This could be. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Takes the ball and heads to the left. That's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 29. Game makes it second and medium. To throw, it's Salter. It's a short completion at the big tight end. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Offense looking to throw the ball. It's a short completion at the tight end. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Makes it second and short. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. No connection there. The pass is incomplete. One of those critical third down plays coming up. Back to throw again. 
Makes a quick catch. And he picks up the first down, tackled at the 32. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. The Flames churn out another first down. Offense will keep it on the ground here. And the broken tackle there produces a solid game. Second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. A lot of times this can be a tough play to defend because you're so concerned with getting pressure on the quarterback. But here the defense does a good job of coming off of coverage and chasing down the receiver. Not much on that play brought down short. And the Flames are in the red zone. Looking to pass here on second down. Cut quickly. Tackle, but forced down. The Flames will line up now. It's forced and goal. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Snags the quick throw. Tackle after the catch, but the ball moves to the four-yard line. Well, this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball and then you go to play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. And it's incomplete, very near the goal line. Boy, this defense has this quarterback rattled. An interception the last series. He almost threw another one. He'll look to throw it on third and goal. It's the running back in the flat. Well, obviously, you're going to throw the football on third down. Man, they complete that pass and lose yardage to set up this big fourth down. So on fourth down, they will settle for a field goal attempt. No problem, Knoxville. Here comes the Flames offense back out on the field. They moved it last time, but settled for a chip shot, looking to find the end zone this time. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play, brings up second down. Looking to pass, it's Salter. Here's the throw deep downfield. Oh, and he's got it. Big gain inside the 25. A huge gain moves the ball to the plus 22. Great scoring position now. Well, when the dust settles and the games are over, it's how many big plays did you create and how many did you prevent? This is a huge play for this offense. Now, can they get the ball into the end zone or they have to settle for three? So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Looking to scramble. He's got a lane. Can he make the end zone? Tackle down at the three-yard line after an excellent run. Boy, how many times do we see this late in the fourth quarter? You know the pass rush is going to be there. They're getting after him. They're getting upfield. They get a great push. But what do they create? Space in lanes. And he takes off and picks up the first down. And we've reached the two-minute warning as this offense tries to steal a late-game comeback victory. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Can't get it away. The defense has got him. What a huge stop at the stage of the game. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying the lead. So trailing in the final quarter of a close game, they're going to go for it on fourth and goal. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. And he stops short. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Look at throwing here to start the drive. Clock for the completion. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. 
This is what's so dangerous about this offense, Chris. They have the ability to put the ball in the air downfield and really stretch those safeties back. This time, they hit it for a big game. Hit as he releases it, and the pass ball is incomplete. This quarterback's trying to do everything he can to give this play a chance. He gets out of the pressure off to his right. But man, did he take a hit, and was it? And he scores. Touchdown, Flames. Chris, how fitting that this offense finds a way to score a touchdown late in the game. They've been doing it all year long, and a big reason that they're here in the postseason. In these playoff games, it's win or go home. So one side can continue to dream about the national championship. The other side, suddenly, Kirk, their season is over. But it's been a good ride. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. It, you know, it's easy to focus on the team that advances. And they, they should be happy, obviously. They had a great year. They're going to continue to go on. But the team that comes up a little bit short, they, you know, you can see the emotion down on the field right now. They put so much into this year. Hopefully they'll be able to learn from this and come back even stronger next year. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.